Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today's video is going to be a little different because I'm going to be showing you some of my Caribbean books that I have on this particular shelf. I have several shelves in my house, but I'm going to focus on this today. And the reason why is I'm co-hosting, if you guys don't already know, uh, Caribbean Athon with Run Rights Read. So I wanted to share some of the books that I've read and also some of the books that I don't I haven't read yet, but it's on my shelf, and you might be looking for something, and some of these might spark your interest. So, we're going to go over this, and we are going to talk about it. So, I want to start with this shelf here, so I'm going to move the camera a little bit. And, yes, yeah, so on this side of the shelf, I have several Caribbean books on here. So, the first one I want to talk about is... Um, nothing's bad. Now, this is supposed to be a bit of a, um, come closer, um, has a bit of some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Magical realism, I think, is in, intertwined this. Haven't read it. Um, it is a short one. I need to read it. Um, but it's based on a girl who wants to know more about her roots, and she's getting stories from her grandmother. And I love stories like that because, you know, old Jamaicans they always got stories for you so I am definitely gonna pick this up this year for sure um, so the next one I haven't read either I got this last year at Brooklyn Book Festival and this one is have um, more of a sci-fi feel to it um, and but the book cover really would I mean look at that machete you know gotta have machete this is Trinidad um, this is the Trinidad, uh, uh, Trinidadian author, so, yeah. <laughs> the next book, it is not a Caribbean author, but it's a base on a Caribbean, um, artist that is very well known. This is Mighty Sparrow, and this book talks about him, and I love it. There's a lot of photo in this book. I haven't finished it. Um, I've read some of it already so far, but I really appreciate this, and it gives you that taste of, you know, soca, you know, calypso back then, and this will be like a Trinidadian tale. This next author is from Trinidad. Haven't read it yet. This was recommended to me by um, Young, Gifted, and Black, and I haven't read this one yet. But she's she is Trinidadian. She's married to someone who is Spanish, but. This is a Trinidadian author, so let's see what else we have on here. This one I read last year. I did a review on it. This is nonfiction. This is the diary of a fatherless immigrant child. I love this because it gives you a little a bit of history of what really happened um, through the eyes of a young child. She was very young at the time. And her father um, was killed in a railroad accident, um, which was an interesting fact because a lot of people didn't realize Jamaica had a railroad before the U.S. Didn't know that, did you? Anyway, the accident happened and how the government handled it and how many families was affected by this. This book really um, dig into that. The next book is from one of my favorite authors from Jamaica. And this is Kai uh, Miller. Try not to get the light, guys. It reflected. There we go. And this one, um, it's just a lot of Caribbean story that in that add religious um, things in it is very interesting. And it's very much a dramatic at time when they write it because um, religious. Community in Jamaica can be very dramatic. <laughs> so, this one is a tale of a warning woman who is basically what a warning woman is. They they see things before it happens. They have this prediction of things and how it comes out. And it follows this woman in here and her relationship with a particular church and things that happen. It is an interesting tale. Um, but I find that the first part of the book I really love. The second part of the book I wanted more. Um, but I also understood how it was twisted that way. Um, but this one really is very much a um, tale of certain religious group in Jamaica and how they feel and, and how they handle certain things. And he really touched on some things <laughs> 
in here and he's good at that him he is that circle of um, authors with you know Marlon James if you think of Mar if you love Marlon James earlier books you will love his the next one is the newest one on the list <laughs> and that is these ghosts are family so you guys already know this has been everywhere and I did an entire review Please check out my review, my review of this. But every time I re think about this book, <laughs> you just have to think about the man and all him and himself and him all I want mash up people life now because him all. Well, I'm already mash up people life now this because this, his action pretty much destroyed some life and caused some chaos. Um, but this is a book that was entertaining at the time, but also I love the folk tales in this. It is full of folk tales. It goes right back to um, plantation life in Jamaica. And of course, you know, I'm a feel because one of my name was my name. So, anyway, definitely check this out. The next book is a collection of short stories um, that is Caribbean based. But the author is not Caribbean, but this is very Caribbean. That's why I, I still add him on the list because he really went and did his research and had this love for Trinidad and Tobago so yeah the next book is an author from Trinidad I met him he did sign my book and um, I haven't read this yet um, but the expert the expert <laughs> the excerpt that he talked about in the, um, that the the um, discussion that we had was very interesting if you watch my Jamaica in Jamaica what am I talking about I'm not drinking guys <laughs> if you watched my um, Brooklyn Book Festival vlog please watch it it was such a great year last year I'm you know I'm really sad that we won't be having it this year but it is what it is so he um, was there and he, he read from this and I loved it again you know a lot of Caribbean are influenced by the church and the things that happen and this one gives you a nice little glimpse into that all right Second shelf, what do I have? Uh, nope, nope, nothing on the second shelf. We're gonna go down to the third shelf. So let me lower this down. Alright, this shelf I have quite a few. So I'm going to remove this one for now. So first on the bottom shelf we have um, Golden Child. And this one is Trinidad. And I read this last year. And this book really did uh, struck a nerve. It struck a nerve, guys. Um, the, the sacrifice and the things that parents make for their children really says a lot in this book and it, it rubbed me a certain way I did review this I'll definitely link it um, but this one is representing Trinidad next book I haven't read this this is a children's book this is also from a Trinidadian author I did meet him he did sign um, and um, I wanted to read this because you know it, it has sea creatures I have a thing for that guys <laughs> all right so what else do I have on this shelf ah yes so you have this one musical youth I read this this year loved it it's just ah, it's just juicy I love when you have young adults that have a bit of romance you know in, enough for the age group but has like a message of following your dream and um, and doing things that might not be in your favor as far as your your parents and everybody else around you but you follow your your guts and do what you wanted to do and it's musical this was really good loved it and this one is uh, no 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 what country is this one um, this one is Antigua and Bermuda so this one will definitely for some people who are having a hard time finding any books from from that island okay the 
next two books are definitely well this one she is American um, but the book is started in Trinidad and it I read this last year and it follows um, two young girl who are um, dealing with their, their their identity as far as their sexual identity one girl was in Trinidad her parents found out and shipped her butt to the US and while to live with her father while she's there she's you know, learned about herself and, and a lot of things. And I thought this book was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. I did have um, a review on this, and I will also link it. And this one um, has the heritage theme, but turn it around. The next book, you guys already know, it heritage, as far as heritage, she is representing the Dominican Republic. And I also have her second book. And I just read her third book, which I will review later on. Um, post a review for that. And love these. These were my favorite of hers. Um, I have to be honest about the third one, which you got to check out my review for that. But definitely representing Dominican Republic with these two. And you already know about these. Um, and I will leave a link if you really want to know more. But come on, guys. This has been everywhere. And I love how she does her cover. She's really good on as far as the covers. Next book is representing Barbados. Love this. I read this last year. Reviewed it. I met her maybe, I think, 2018. She was with another author for How to Love a Jamaican. She was there, and I met her briefly. But she wrote this book, and I think this book was such a good read. And it really touched on grandparents who have picked up certain roles, especially um, in the islands where you you know, leave the island, come to America, and things don't work out the way you intended to work out. And there's also the bits of mental health that goes on in this book. And the, the idea of you can always go back home, you know. You you know, most people leave the islands for a better life. And sometimes they come here and the life isn't better. And I always feel like um, hit rock bottom, go home. Um, you know, there's this idea that you just, if you're going to suffer, suffer at home around your family member than being alone in America and suffering. So, love this. There's more to the story, of course, but it just remind me of that topic whenever I think about this book. So, on the bottom, we'll see. Alright, so there's no more on the bottom on this side, and let's see the top, the top, the top. Okay, not on the top, but I have some on the other side, so we are going to do the other side. On this side, we don't have that many. I have about two, so we're going to start with Queenie, guys. It is still my most watched <laughs> It is still my most watched reviewed, and you guys know how I felt. Definitely not going to tell you to read it. Not going to tell you not to read it. But God knows this book. But watch my review if you really want to know how I feel. Get back in there. And yes, this one. The Confession of Franny Langston. Now this book was um, that book that I felt was um, had that built up where you some moments of it you really love and some moments you just didn't care you want to keep it going. This is that kind of book. It is a historical fiction. Um, it does have this amazing story of this woman who pretty, she was pretty much a slave and went from Jamaica to um, the England and where in England where she more was considered a servant but mm, no she was anyway she's accused of killing her um, owner slash employer so <laughs> and 
the stories unfolding where you're finding out what really happened and how it happened and all this other stuff. Um, it is a very good book. I just feel like some of it could have been a little bit, you know, speed up a little. <laughs> so, but I know a lot of people who really love this. So definitely, um, I do feel like if you really love historical fiction, you will love this one. And this is it for this one. Let me see, what do I have with a second? Um, nope. Yep, yeah, I don't have that many on this on this one. And um, down the bottom, to show you. So, down the bottom, the only thing on the shelf that I would say is Caribbean is Roxanne Gay. Um, and, uh, yeah, Roxanne Gay, which she represent in Haiti. So, if you can see her books here. I have several of her other books. I just don't know where they are. Um, but, yeah. It. So guys, now I am using my Kindle to talk about some of the ones that I have on my Kindle that is Caribbean. So I do have Untamed by Roxanne Gay. It's a very rough book, guys. Um, guys, that book took me six months to read. Because it was so brutal, but you learn so much about why she chose to um, to write um, these stories and more on her um, autobiography, which is the Hunger. That I feel I do have a copy of Hunger. So, um, but that story does talk about a woman who was brutally, um, brutally sexually assaulted and tortured in Haiti. And um, how she recover and cope. This is probably one of the most realistic story that covered the subject that I've ever read, um, because it don't focus on just the act, but it focuses on the recovery. And a lot of books, the they when they talk about recovery, they talk about it in such a rush and quick way as if that's just it. Um, and I felt like in this book, she really talk about it in a way that felt so authentic. And real and show the scars and the, the things that not only uh, physically the body goes through to recover but the mental things as well so I thought that was a good one uh, there's one that I really want to talk about as well on here that I absolutely run blah, 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 blah. why can I not find it um hmm. Um, also, um, Nola Hopkins, Hopkinson, um, where she does speculative fiction, so if you're into that kind of stuff, she's good on it. I've read two of her books, and the last one I read was The Salt Roads, which I really enjoyed it, but there are moments in that book where I'm just like, <laughs> like, what? Um, we have Waiting in Vain, Colin channel now be honest with you i've not read it yet i need to read it it's one of the well-known um romance um from a caribbean author and if you're into romance that's it but i haven't read it yet i need to i can't find the other one on my candle because i have so many but i got to find it this is such a good one that i want people to read Anyway, guys, I cannot <laughs> find the other two books on this candle because that's so much I have. Um, so one of the books is Gloria, Carrie Young. Got to read it, guys. That book was so good. And it is it's, it's a book that is it's a standalone, but there is three books that are where some of the characters intertwine in the family. So, And this book is like a, a really good book that talks about um, our relationship in the Jamaica with black and um, Chinese um, Jamaicans 
and uh, it does talk about it in a way that is realistic. Um, also, the the choices some of these women made and the lifestyle. When I read this, it was it gave me back some old vibes because it t it does talk about an area in Jamaica where I'm from, and I was just like, oh, oh. You know, just reminiscing on sitting on a, a veranda, looking out. That happened in that book too. But anyway, this book is really good, guys. It is gritty. It is gritty, um, based on the subject that it talks about. But it also is has the sweet moments and um, and the complicated lifestyle of you know being with someone who doesn't look like you. So yeah, that's a good one. The next one is the one I really wanted to find, which is called From Rum to Roots, or Roots to Rum. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, that book, every time I think about it, it just reminds me of those restaurants that you see on Flatbush Avenue, and you wonder how they got there, how they became successful, and when you hear their stories of from Yad, and they come to America, and they create this business and this restaurant that is successful, but has is so much entangled in their roots, that's what that book reminds me of. That book also represent, um, both books, you know, represent Jamaica, and I definitely want to find that one. Oh my god, I had a Kindle copy. I feel like some of my Kindle copy has disappeared, which I am not happy with. Um, but it was on my Kindle up until earlier this year because I wanted to reread it. Um, but yeah, that's a really good one that you don't hear a lot of people talk about. But I really love it. So definitely go check it out. So I'm going to end this here. And then I'm going to focus another video part two. Where I talk about some of my favorites that I didn't have on this shelf. But they are in uh, my other shelf in my bedroom. So I will take them out and talk about those books. Because those books are very much um, the ones I scream at people to read <laughs> the most. Um, and then I'll also see where I have other books hidden. Because... There's some books that I have that are not on the shelf and I'm surprised. Which makes me wonder where did I put them. So this is the problem of a, you know, book lover when you have a lot of books and you're not sure where the heck you put all your books. So, but I do have other books. Quite a few books that I did not show in here. And I also have a haul coming of books that I recently collected. So, yeah. But this will get you started on some things that you might be interested in. So, yeah. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day. Bye.